Hey everybody, happy Feature Friday. Today I want to show off a couple apps um, that we've recently improved the integrations for just to make sure they're on everyone's radar. Um, I'll focus more on Kabuto, but Repair Tech Solutions are good friends of ours and they've built some technicians tools. We've had the Repair Tech, you know, tech tools integrated for quite a while and they came out with Kabuto recently. Um, they built a integration early on that was like a leads integration and recently we've improved the integration to be more of like a full RMM integration um, so I just want to show you some of that stuff so you can find it in the App Center um, click on Kabuto from there um, you can check it out on their website you can see the help page on how to set it up or um, configure now so I won't go through the whole configure now thing but you know there's a there's a knowledge base page I won't show the whole configuration here on this Feature Friday, I just kind of wanted to make everyone aware of it and give a quick tour of it. Um, but basically, um, Kabuto started out as like a you know business card on a computer type of a thing. You'd install a program um, on their computer and it would sit in the system tray. Here's a screenshot. It'd sit down here in the system tray with your logo and stuff on it and they could hit request service. Um, so when you click this request service button, this puts a lead right into your repair shopper account automatically. So that's pretty slick. And then recently they've added some um, more powerful tools. So they've got managed antivirus and monitoring. I'll just give a quick tour of those and show how those hook into repair shopper. So I've got my test account here. Here's like four computers I've got set up. Here's a computer like in our shop. Um, I can hit view. Um, so you basically install this program on the computer and then turn on monitoring and then you can go in settings and basically tell it to like talk to repair shopper and then on the repair shopper side when there's an alert like um, hard drive gets you know runs low on space or an application crashes or something in repair shopper you'll have a new area in tickets um, Kabuto alerts and this will show all different alerts that have happened on the different machines so kind of in real time as those alerts are reported you know um, app crashes or whatever you can come in here and click see details of the program that crashed this is like an alert from that machine um, you could turn this into a trouble ticket or delete it um, if you create a ticket that device is going to already exist as a, an asset in repair shopper and it'll be linked to a customer We've got the serial number, we've got all kinds of stuff on it, we've got the ticket history on it. Um, so there's quite a bit going on in that integration. Definitely check it out if you haven't taken a look at um, Kabuto. One more little thing I want to touch on, just because this is new and pretty slick. Um, in Kabuto you can turn on antivirus, turn on the managed antivirus. This does cost money, um, but you know now you've got you just push a button and antivirus is installed and then same with the other monitoring alerts like if a virus is detected or whatever those alerts are going to come over into repair shopper so once you've got your you know Kabuto devices and customers all linked in repair shopper the next thing you probably want to do is start billing those people um, you know recurring billing on your Kabuto devices so if you come into repair shopper recurring invoices um, a pretty cool new feature we've added. Let me see if I can find my test customer here and get one created real quick. Recurring Kabuto invoice. Um, you could easily do a recurring invoice based on the number of devices someone has. So you can say monthly, in advance, billing terms, end of month, whatever. These things don't quite matter, recurring invoice. If you change this to an asset RMM subscription, um, I'm going to make this run on January 25th, right before the end of the month. Um, we'll create this schedule. Now you can come in here and say, um, you know, you create a product for your manage um, workstation and you can say asset type, um, what do we have here, Kabuto device, 150 bucks, add. So now, however many assets this customer has will be the quantity for this line item. So if I go add more devices to this customer, this invoice is going to automatically update next month. So pretty slick um, way to automate that recurring billing. And then be on the lookout for more changes coming soon to this functionality.